Hey guys, it's me Jakey D and welcome to another review where I get to share my opinions and in this case they're going to be very controversial opinions, my god. And this game is called Coffee Talk and more specifically this is the sequel number two. Now thankfully Coffee Talk is on Game Pass so I didn't have to pay any extra for this game and the first game has a 95% positive review rating on Steam from 7,000 reviews and this second game that was just released currently has a 98% positive review rating from almost 300 reviews and even though I did try the first game I never got into it but looking at those reviews made me think wow I've missed something because people love this game so let me share with you my experience of Coffee Talk 2. So what is Coffee Talk you ask? Well it's a game where you are in a coffee shop people will come in and ask for a drink and then the characters talk to each other for an ungodly amount of time if you play on PC like myself, you'll be pressing the spacebar key non-stop and just reading a bunch of text. That is 95% of this game. And you must be thinking to yourself, well, if you're talking to customers for 95% of the game, the chats must be interesting. The stories must be great. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that is not the case at all. The only stories here are very forgettable and most of the conversation aren't even about stories. It's just simple talk over pointless things and so the writing does not get my approval at all which obviously means I cannot love the characters because there's no investment in the stories or the conversations to make me like the characters I felt like there was a lot of creative potential here because you've got these characters coming into your coffee shop and they're fantasy characters and I love fantasy characters I'm a big anime fan right so fantasy characters why the hell not but there's just no investment in story or personality in fact, everyone that came into my coffee shop, I just wanted to hurry up and give them the goddamn coffee so they could get the f*** up. And so what about gameplay? Surely there is some sort of fun gameplay aspect to be getting these type of crazy insane reviews from people. Now, as someone that tried reading through the dialogue as quickly as I could because I just was not invested, you probably won't believe how long in between the conversations there was actual gameplay where you get to make a coffee. There were times of up to 15 minutes where I would just be clicking through dialogue without making a single drink or doing any sort of single bit of gameplay, right? There's no options in the dialogue. There's nothing for me to do except read through the dialogue as quickly as I could and that's it. It's definitely a game that makes you feel like no matter what you do in this game, you're not going to make any sort of impact. You can make a good drink, a bad drink, and they will have an initial reaction to the drink, whether they like it or they don't like it. But then after that, it just goes on to a default conversation conversation of what you would have talked about anyway. Maybe at the end of the game is where the relationship statuses and whether you make good drinks would matter, but while you're playing the game, there is no visible impact to any choices you make. So how the hell are people loving this game? All the reviews say, oh, it's so relaxing. I fall asleep to this game. It's so nice. It's such a nice vibe. The only vibes I'm getting from this game are boredom, bad writing, and lack of gameplay. There was even a point where I kind of raged quit at this world's most relaxing game. So the idea is that the customer will tell you what they want but sometimes they won't give you a hint as to what they want as the primary ingredient and the secondary ingredient. And if you don't get a special name for the drink that you make then you should trash it and try again. The problem was that not only would I get it wrong the first time every time, sometimes I would click the serve button and there's no undo button and it triggered me so hard after a while that I literally rage quit to the main menu. And now when you get to this main menu, can you guys just take a look for me real quick and just tell me how the f would you exit this game? Because after looking through the main menu, I tried the options button. I tried the extras button. In fact, the only button I didn't try was the endless button. Because if I had to play this game endlessly, I make myself. So after the first rage quit, I had to do a second rage quit by control alt deleting this fucking game. I hate going against the grain. I hate going against the flock of sheep of fans of a game because this video is not going to do well. But at the end of the day, I'm going to share my opinions openly and honestly. And honestly, I just feel so frustrated that this game has so much potential. And one of the biggest points in the positive reviews that they say is that this is a relaxing game. And I like relaxing games. 
I'm a big fan of relaxing games. The problem is that this game takes it to a whole nother level to the point where I wouldn't even call this a video game. There's just not enough to do. So in my opinion, the potential is just thrown down the drain. And I can tell you now, I'm sure that I won't be trying Coffee Talk number three. So the final question, what would I give this out of 10? Well, considering I would barely call it a video game and the only positive things that I really said was that I like the idea of this game. I like the potential of the game, but it just does not deliver in any way. So I think a three out of 10 is a fair review. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If you wanna see more reviews like this, well, probably not like this. I think this type of review would probably be Once in a Blue Moon because I really do try and avoid games that I know that I'm not going to like. Well, actually, that was a lie. I just reviewed a Souls-like game and I hate Souls-like games. And I've just reviewed this game and I didn't like the first game. So honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But sometimes I don't get much of a choice in what games I get to play because there's not a lot out all the time. But if you want to see more reviews by moi in the future, then please click that subscribe button. And... And I guess that is it. Thanks for watching.